everyone. Welcome to another Kidlit Chat. I have Paige Turlip with me here. Hey, Paige, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. I was so excited to get to chat with you. You work for Andrea Brown, which is super fun. We love that agency. But I know you have a ton of publishing experience. However, I want to ask you about your renewable energy experience. That's such an interesting thing I've never really seen on anyone's bio. So what made you kind of like go into that? What is that? <laughs> yeah, so I worked at the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado, and I worked on the communications and marketing side of things. So not an engineer or a scientist, but it was really fun to be involved in bringing to light some of the amazing technology that they're using there. Um, I primarily worked with the Department of Energy on their consumer facing website okay. energy saver, which was really fun. Um, got to do a lot of uh, like I went bowling at the White House and just like some fun little things there, which was great. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so awesome. So what made you then transition, like get into agency. Yeah. So after I did the cube life thing, um, I realized that I just, it wasn't kind of fulfilling me. Um, so I ran away to the mountains for a year and I worked on a ranch and just did some thinking about, you know, what I love, what I wanted to pursue. And it always kind of came back to books and writing. And, um, it's had such a big impact on my life. i I feel so shaped by the books that I've read that it just seemed kind of natural to want to help usher in new generations of readers. Um, and so I went and got a master's in children's literature and a master's in fine arts and writing for children from Simmons University. And the rest is kind of history. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. And it's so true. I mean, books like, especially children's books, they stick with you. Yeah. Yeah. But one of your favorites that you've worked on. Yeah, I mean, it's like kind of like picking a favorite child a little bit, um, because I feel like every book that I've worked with has been special in different ways. Um, recently, one that came out, actually, it's behind me, Better with Butter, I worked on when I was uh, assisting Laura Renner by Victoria Piontek, and it just feels like such a important, timely book right now. It's about a girl um, dealing with anxiety and she befriends a fainting goat and together they kind of navigate their anxieties and, and how they interact with the world. And it's just like that really true, perfect blending of humor and heart that I always look for in books. So that was a really fun one. Um, I have lots of projects that are not yet announced that are exciting, but one that just was announced, um, If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun is a YA contemporary fantasy, and it is going to be so amazing. I can't wait for the world to read it. It's really great. Wow. So, lots of fun things in the pipeline. <laughs> I love it. That title alone just makes me want to read it. Like, Yay! <laughs> That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah. When does it come out? Uh, it'll be coming out in um, the spring 2023, or summer, I'm sorry, summer 2023. The next year. All right, we got a whole year. We're going to stick around and hang out and like, stock your, your site. <laughs> Stay posted, but you can add it to Goodreads now if you yeah, want to and just list. crack yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, you also are a fan of the greatest Br British baking show, the, all the things, and it sounds fun. I am not a baker. I put the things in the mixer, the flour. <laughs> so what about you? Are you a cook? Are you a baker? What else do you do? I like to think of myself as more enthusiastic than talented. Um, I really enjoy it and I do frequently stress bake. Like yesterday, my pup had to go get an MRI. And so I made banana bread and like, I just, it's like a stress reliever for me. Um, I've made cakes for like my brother's wedding, which was like a small wedding, you know, nothing too yeah. extravagant, but it's, it's been more just personal fun. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say that I could actually compete on a show like that. Those bakers are next level. <laughs> uh, and maybe the ugly one. Isn't there like an ugly baking show? Yeah, they nailed it. That yeah. one I could compete on for sure. <laughs> That's the one I could do too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you're also outdoorsy. You do all the things. We got the renewable energy, recovering publishing, recovering all the things. But outdoorsy, you live in Colorado. Where would you take a book if you could go anywhere with a book? 
there is a hike that I love to do, and I usually do it at least once a year. Um, it's called Columbine Lake, and it's up in Grand County, Colorado, um, and it is beautiful. It sort of looks like the sound of music. There's an alpine lake that you you hike to, and I'll fly fish there, which I never actually catch anything, but it's just fun. There's a big rock in the sunshine and I've actually brought books and like little painting sets and I just hang out up there for a while. It's beautiful. Sounds gorgeous. That's yeah. that so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing with us. This has been so fun. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me.